This is Easy VIP at Flying Voice. I'm Steve. I'm Megan. Hello, Megan. Hi, Steve. As you know,、uh, today the cloud PBX、uh, is more and more popular. Yes. And I think that is very easy to use.、Mm-hmm. But there is a problem. Sometimes、uh, our office internet connections、uh, may be unavailable. Yeah. In this case,、uh, the IP phone will have no idea to connect internet and have no idea to connect the cloud PBX. Yes, in this、okay. case, even internal communication is not available. Yeah, I think that is a、uh, uh, it is not good. And I heard that you have a solution named SAS can help us to solve this problem. Yes, we do have a SAS solution, and it is a standalone serverability solution, and it designed to guarantee the company's the telephone system stability. So、uh, I will introduce this SAS solution today. Okay. Okay.、Yeah. So this、uh, let let me make make it clear. So the SAS solution is a hardware or software? Uh, it is a hardware. Uh huh. Hardware SAS device. It、uh-huh. is a gateway. Okay, it's a gateway. Yes, that's right. And uh, uh, if I install this box in my、uh, IP phone system, it will help us to solve. Uh, the serverability issues. That means even I lost internet connections, and internal communication is still available. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's interesting. So、uh, give、yeah. me more introduction. Okay. Oh, maybe you can. Yeah. Okay. Thank I you. I can stand here. And uh, uh, so I will give give us a, a brief introduction、mm-hmm. about what is SAS first, and then I will tell us、uh, tell you how the SAS works.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Let us move to another. Okay, I will help you. Okay, thanks. Okay,、uh, as we can see, standalone serverability it is a feature that interests the telephonic communication community for the enterprise who is using the IP PBX services, and、uh, it helps the enterprise keep the internal and external calls. Even though there is an IP PBX failure, usually some companies they do not use a cloud PBX. Maybe、mm-hmm. they use a physical PBX、mm-hmm. in the local network.、Mm-hmm. So in some,、uh, for some reason, they do have a PBX failure issue. And、uh, another one is for the customers using the cloud PBX.、Mm-hmm. Uh, even though there is a network failure, and、uh, we can use this device、mm-hmm. to.、Uh, Uh, provide a stable internal and uh, uh,、okay. external calls. So this device will help our IP telephony system more reliable.、Yes. Whatever I use the local PBX or cloud PBX. Yes, that's right. Okay, but I think for cloud PBX is more interesting. Okay, let、yeah. me move next page. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and、uh, as we can see, this is a, a normal set. We can see the、uh, topology of this device. Uh, on the bottom, we can see a telephone system. This telephone system usually registers to the PBX server directly.、Mm-hmm. But in this、uh, today, in our solution, we add a SAS device. It、mm-hmm. is a gateway, and、uh, in this case, the telephones、uh, register registration or the SIP invite. They、mm-hmm. will. Uh, sent to the gateway, and then it will forward to the IP okay, PBX. Okay, our question is again. Yes. So, uh, I, I understand what is a cloud PBX uh, uh, works. So, in generally, all the IP phones will register to the、uh, central PBX directly through the internet. Yeah. And in these solutions, we will try to ask the IP phones send the registration and the invite packet to your SAS device, and the SAS device will transfer to the cloud PBX. Do you mean that?、Uh, yes, that's so, correct. Yeah, is there some special requirements for my IP phones? I mean,、uh, except the flying voice, any brand can work or cannot.、Uh, yes, that's right. All of the IP phones they can work in this solution. Okay. There's no special settings for the phones. Especially we、uh, have to set up the outbound proxy server、okay. to this gateway, and then it will forward all the、uh, data to the. Oh, that's the configuration issues. Ah,、uh, that's right. Okay, that's quite good. Please continue. Okay, and、uh, just now you mentioned it will forward、uh, send all the information to this gateway.、Mm-hmm. So the gateway also has a, a database to record all the registration information. And、uh, meanwhile, it will send a keep a live message to、mm-hmm. the PBX server to detect whether the server is available or. It is out of line. Okay, a question. Yeah. So that means、uh, it is not a PBX, right? Yeah, it is not a PBX server. So there is no special for the、uh, 
a super count uh, configurations, it is just a record the super count in the cloud PBX, between the cloud PBX and the IP phones. All the available super count will be record in this device, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so in the rest, if the internet connections has some problems, it can work as a PBX to support the local communication. Yes, that's right. Okay, yeah. so just a one, uh, I mean, it is not another PBX. I, I don't like uh, another PBX. So there is not additional configuration for the IP, IP phones. It is just use a cloud PBX zip account and phone numbers. Yes. Okay, it's quite good. Yeah. Please go ahead. Okay, so just now we mentioned it will send a uh, keep a live message. It is a zip options to detect whether the cloud PBX is available or not. Mm -hmm. If the PBX is not available and uh, the connection between this uh, SAS device and the cloud PBX is, is down, and then we can move to another. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it will turn ah, to yeah. the emergency state like this. Okay, so in this case, uh, that means that the internet connections have some problems, mm. and the SS device can detect these uh, issues through the keep alive message, yeah. and he knows the internet is unavailable. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then the SAS device will take over. Uh -huh. It will shortly work as a PBX server, and all the phones in white in the registration information uh -huh. still sent to the device, and it will. Uh, Reply the phones. Oh, and interesting. Then, so yes. in this case, uh, this uh, uh, this jobs uh, like a local PBX uh, to replacement the central PBX uh, 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 function. Yeah, yeah, functions. Yeah. And so the internal communication will still available. Yes. Okay, that's right. it's very good. Mm. What is a uh, PS10? Uh, the PS10 line usually uh, usually used to make uh, outbound calls. Uh -huh. So just now we mentioned we can uh, keep the internal calls working, but in some emergency case we may need to make some outbound calls, like 911 in the North America. So uh, we can use this PS10 line to make the outbound calls. There are two FXO port on this SAS device. Okay, interesting. So mm. I think that is a name, stand alone survivability. It is survivability. Yes, that's great. You okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, you told me that it is a two FXO port here. Mm. Uh, if this system uh, do not work in the uh, status, uh, in the normal status, uh, does this two FXO port uh, can work with a cloud PPX uh, or can only be standby? Uh, yes, it can be standby. It is depend on your requirement. Okay. It can also connect to the PBX server and the other extensions or IP phone system. They can also make outbound calls through this SAS device. Okay, that means uh, if I have two local PST lines, I also mm. can through this device uh, connected to the cloud PBX. Yes, exactly. And in the emergency case, it can also available for the local communications. Yes. Okay, it's very good. Yeah. Next page. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's all. Yeah. Okay, so I think I understand uh, what this solution works. Oh, let, let's uh, to the back. Uh... The, the main page? The oh, yeah. Page? Okay. Yeah, this page this is one? very good. Okay. Yeah. But I want to watch a demo show. I think there is some device on the table. Also. Mm -hmm. Do you ready to make a demo here? Uh, yes, no problem. And uh, as we can see on the table, here are two IP phones. Mm -hmm. And this is the SAS device. Mm -hmm. This is a, a router to provide the whole network for mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. system. I know, it is uh, uh, your LT routers. Mm. But uh, in this uh, uh, scenario, it is just a local router. I think that is the internet connections. Uh, yes, that's okay. right. Okay, mm. so okay, let me watch the scenario. Uh, the internet... Uh, Connections through the blue cable come here, mm. and uh, this device uh, work as a router. Yeah. Okay. Connect to a switch. It is under table. Yes. Okay. Right. And all other devices are connected together in a LAN port with a switch under the table. Yeah. Okay. It's clear. Mm. So at the beginning, I think in the uh, normal solutions, there is no this device, right? Uh, yes. In you... the traditional uh, topology, the mm -hmm. customer just. Uh, uh, register the phones to mm -hmm. the PBX server, mm -hmm. and we can uh, make a demonstration about this. Okay, hold scenario. on. So I think uh, uh, I can watch to compare what's the difference. So yeah. for the traditional solutions, uh, there is no SAS device. Yeah. In this case, these two phones can also work well with uh, cloud PBX. Yes. But if I disconnect uh, these cables, uh, 
that means there are no internet connections. Yeah. And the cloud PBX will lose the two phones, and two phones cannot work, right? Yeah, yeah. And the second scenario, if I install this device on the network, mm -hmm. just simple to connect it, yeah. and it will help me to make uh, it is still available, even the internet connections uh, is disconnected. Yes. Okay, that's, that's right. interesting. Let's yeah. try. Okay. Okay, so first, uh, I will power off this and uh, put it here. No, no. problem. Okay. okay. Uh, I will show you the configurations on the sure. phones first. Yeah, okay. So this is the first phone's uh, web oh, that's interface. This model? Uh, yes, this model. Okay. And we can go to SIP account to register to the PBX server. And I tap in the registration information. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is registered. Mm -hmm. Now we do the send settings on the yeah. second phone. May I, may I check your cloud PBX? Uh, no problem. Okay. You want to check the cloud PBX configuration? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I can log into the cloud PBX. Oh, you use the Easter P cloud. Yeah, P series. Okay. Go to the extension page to check the status. Uh, this one, this is the uh, public address of our okay. network. Okay. Yeah, it is registered. Uh, both is okay. Uh, no, just the one. Okay. I'm going to configure another one. Okay. Okay. Both done. is okay. Yes. So I can make a phone call. Yes. Now we can make a phone call. Okay. Let's try. Yeah. I will make a test call on this phone, and I call one. Over okay. Two. Call me. Yeah. Hello, Megan. Yeah. Hi, Steve. Okay. It's good. Okay. Yeah. Good. So next, you will lose the internet connections. Yeah. Let's watch what happened. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Plug the buttons. Okay. I think in this case you cannot access uh is the p cloud ui interface right yeah let, show me yeah yes let me show you whether we can still log into the uh yes the pbx server oh uh, yeah but i think oh, oh yeah no. it's right because yeah. you lost the internet connection of course you cannot access the cloud pbx yes that's so what happens uh, for the phones yeah can let, you continue to work let's make another test call to okay Uh, hmm? Unavailable. Yeah. Of I'm course, available. that is normal issues. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's show your SAS device power. No problem. Uh, first of all, we should power on the SAS device. Okay, first. we will back the internet here, yeah. and I will connect to the power here. Yeah. Okay, and connect the Wait. device. Yeah. To the okay network. Okay. Okay. Now the PBX server is available. Okay, now I'm going to log into the SAS device configuration page. Okay. Okay, this is uh, this device. Yes. Okay. Now we go to SAS. And go to SAS configuration. Mm -hmm. uh, set up the proxy server and the outbound server. Oh, this is the uh, uh, PCloud uh, API yeah, address. Yeah, okay. Yes, the PC address IP address. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this is the configuration on the SAS device we need to do. And uh, we have to log into the phone's configuration page. To yeah, I remember. You told me you should change the outbound. Yeah. yeah. In this configuration, we should set up the outbound server address mm. in the SS device IP address. Yes. Or oh, this is makes IP phones forward all the SIP information, SIP packet to this device. Yes. Okay. I think all the phones support it. You're right. Yeah. This is the common configurations for the phone. Yes. Mm. Okay, that's all the configuration. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Very simple. Yeah. Very so easy. at least let's let, let let let's test the phone. Is it available now? Let's test the phone. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call your phone. Mm -hmm. One o o two. Okay. Hello. Hi, Steve. Hi. This is a normal status. 
Yes, normal status. This call is handled by the caller PBX. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, it's a game point. And I will make the internet connection available. No okay. problem, let's do it. And uh, as you said, uh, this phone call will stay available. Yes. I, I want to confirm is the internet connection available or not available. Check the Cloud PBX UI. Yeah, let me refresh the page. Yeah. It's loading. Yeah, it's still loading. Hmm. It takes time. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. I want yeah. to confirm the internet is uh, unavailable. There's yeah. no other internet connections. No problem. Wait, wait. Okay. But the phone looks like. I know. I think it is uh, still the green LED. Let, let's check later. Okay. Yeah. I can check the internet connection on with my pin. PC. Yeah, okay, with no pin. problem. Yeah, let's, let's check with the pin. Let's try another way. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Let's pin the cloud PBX address. Mm, okay. No. Okay, Cannot I trust you. Broken. The internet yeah. connection is uh, is lost. Yes. So, the phone should still work well, right? Yeah. Let's check. It should be. Okay. Let's make a test call. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hi, Steve. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Oh, that's interesting. So, no internet connections. Yes. So the device work, and it's so my problem. Yes, no problem. Okay, quite good. Thank you. Okay, successful. Successful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. I get a very good solution today. Thank you, Megan. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Okay, that's all for today. If you want to know more about our product or this solution, let us know. See you next time. See you next time.